Find me one example in the history of our species where a 90 year old said, I wish I had less strength. I wish I had less muscle. I wish I had weaker bones. It turned out that studies looking at resistance training found them to be significantly better at retaining BMD when compared to anything aerobic. You're applying force to the receptors there. Those receptors are translating that tension into signals that say, lay down more bone. Just to put in perspective, even the swimmers or, you know, the resistance training uh, females, and, and females are tending to be a little bit lower than men, they still have excellent BMD. So I, I, you know, we do not want to be suggesting that some sports are bad for BMD. That's not the take home message here. The take home message here is if you really have to juice it, what do you want to be doing? Right. Um, so what's the sweet spot here? To me, the sweet spot is resistance training. All of these things come with risk if you don't do them correctly. I mean, hell, if you don't swim correctly, you're going to tear your shoulders apart. So we just have to think about this through a risk reward lens. Notice that walking isn't on here and gardening is not on here and golf is not on here. So I just, I want people to understand that if they're in the business of trying to increase their BMD, they have to get wicked forces on their muscles. Kind of on that realm, moving from exercise to nutrition and supplements, what are some essential nutrients that are important for optimizing bone deposition that people should think about? 